Hello there. <clears throat> My name is William Buell, and I'm making this uh, video to introduce you to a wonderful, useful book called Companion, A Companion to Beowulf by Ruth A. Johnston. And uh, it's published by Panicker Press, which is uh, www.panickerpress.com. And this, uh, of course, it's a guide to a very ancient writing and very unique writing, uh, Beowulf, written perhaps between 900 and 1000 uh, uh, Common Era AD, uh, and uh, written in Old English, uh, but interestingly enough about a superhero, a myth that uh, occurred in the Scandinavian countries. I may, pardon me, I'm not an expert, so I may make some mistakes. I think this book is ideal for any high school or, or college student that is working with Beowulf and is really uh, groping around for a foundation of understanding. And I'm just going to read, um, I want to read her introduction, which uh, I find very meaningful. For my sons, and for all who would be heroes in a difficult world. Uh, and I'm just going to read the contents here. Um, chapter 1 is Introduction to the Context of Beowulf. Chapter 2 is Choosing a Translation. And that's very interesting because the text, uh, there's only one copy in the whole world of the Beowulf text. And it survived many centuries through fires and, and, and various uh, things that uh, threatened to damage it. Uh, and it was only, they only really began to translate it sometime in the 18th or 19th century. And there are many translations available. And the most famous of them is J.R.R. Tolkien, who wrote The Lord of the Rings. And he was a, a Beowulf specialist, I understand. I do have to read this book a little more carefully. I haven't read it completely. Um, chapter 3, The Hero Comes to Denmark. Chapter 4, Beowulf versus Grendel. Chapter 5, Beowulf versus Grendel's mother. 6, Beowulf versus the dragon. 7, Literary Techniques. And there's a very interesting thing that they did in poetry in those days called kenning. And so I think Beowulf means something like honey hunter or bee, uh, bee hunter, which is a, um, an indirect reference to uh, the bear. Because bears like bees and they like honey. We all know that from Winnie the Pooh. Uh, and uh, it reminds me of the Russian word for bear, which is medved. And med is related to mead, like honey. And ved uh, means to eat. It's the honey eater. So uh, there's an example in um, modern language. Chapter 9 is language and poetry. Chapter 10 is religion in Beowulf. 11 is Anglo-Saxon culture. 12 is uh, modern adaptations of Beowulf. Thirteen is the Beowulfian world of J.R.R. Tolkien. Uh, and then we end with a, a glossary of names and, of course, works cited and uh, an index. And I don't, I can't, oh, they're, they're wonderful, wonderful illustrations in the book. And it's always hard to uh, position illustrations properly on this camera, but that's from the cover. And let's see, this one is there. You can see 
an example of the illustrations in the book. I simply cannot imagine any book uh, being more useful for the young student uh, who wants to have a background in uh, such literature as Beowulf. It does not contain a, a translation of Beowulf. It's all the background information that one could possibly ever want to know. And it's, it's, it's very readable. Here's another photo. Let's just say See, it says, Germanic royal lady, artist's concept of a noble lady in the 7th century. Useful and decorative objects hang from her belt. She wears a necklace of gold coins as well as strings of amber beads. This illustration is by L. D. Staver. Let's see if I can get this up on the screen. And everything is mirror opposite. So, how do I do this? There she is. And you can actually see the, um, some of the, uh, a page of the text itself. And uh, that looks like, page, from back here, it looks like page 49. So, the book... Is it has a list price of fifteen dollars and ninety five cents. Um, it is available uh, online, and uh, the ISB number ISBN number is nine seven eight dash zero dash nine eight three one eight one zero dash zero dash uh, two. So uh, please check it out. I'm going to try and make uh, some more videos like this about the book. And thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Um, please, uh, if you like, find, seek me out on Facebook. Um, and Ruth Johnston is on my friends list. We, were, we both attended St. John's College in Annapolis, Maryland, the great books, the hundred great books of the Western world. Uh, I'm also uh, William Buell at gmail.com uh, uh, on Google Plus and also Diaspora. Uh, and uh, I do post uh, every day uh, to uh, williambuell.posterous.com and also williambuell.wordpress.com and I have posted a few things about this book already. So thank you for your time. I see it's now eight minutes into the recording. So we'll end it here. Uh, but I do hope to make some more recordings uh, about Beow uh, a companion to Beowulf in the near future. Uh, it's really uh, very readable, very enjoyable, and you'll learn many, many things. I'm age 62 and have tried to learn things about philosophy and literature, but uh, I've learned so much just from my brief um, readings in this wonderful book and thanks to Ruth Johnston for a wonderful job. She's quite a scholar and if you add her on Facebook she will um, teach you many things about aspects of earlier days, days of yore in the Middle Ages and all such exciting things. Bye-bye. Uh, Let's see now, where do I stop this? Um.